It's time for Inside the Patch with your Las Vegas Raiders. Here's Gnarly Charlie. Well, it's Inside the Patch. I'm your host, Gnarly Charlie, from ESPN 1430, your Valley sports leader, your Valley local sports leader. And today we've got back again Mitch Adams, who is the professor of the perfect rotation training device. It's a basketball that you invented. It gives you a perfect rotation, and it's great for your kids. That if, if you have kids play basketball, it teaches them how to get that perfect rotation. Oh, I love it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. How are and you, Charlie? I am doing good. And Mitch comes on all the time. Mitch used to host the Raiders Legends show at halftime at the Oakland Coliseum. Worked for Al Davis for I don't know how many years, for a long time. And and that's where I got to meet you because you had a connection with all the, the Raiders from the past. And then plus just hanging out the games and being a fan. And you're a twin. There's an there's exact replica of you somewhere around this world, right? <laughs> yeah. Hopefully he's being good. <laughs> well, this week we're playing the Buffalo Bills. Before we get there, let's talk about that Denver Bronco game. Wow. How, how do you feel about that? Well, I saw a lot of positives. Um, starting with one James Richard Garoppolo. Um, when the pocket condensed he found a way out either through passing or running and i'm i've missed that yeah and so he kept drives alive and so that was refreshing to see and the defense max crosby whoo boy yeah. uh yeah they, that was nice linebackers flying around defensive backs they did fairly well there, there were some glaring errors but first game of the season so i'm happy we go in because if you looked at the schedule you'd say i'd split those first two games and come back home against pittsburgh one and one now we have an opportunity to come back two and oh because right. buffalo didn't look so hot uh against the jets uh monday night uh, now you're talking about a crazy game but how about us our first our first drive all of a sudden garoppolo is in the tent and i was like going <laughs> Oh my gosh! Already? <laughs> I mean, you can't even get through the first half. Yeah. Uh, but it was it was good to see how angry he was about that, and that he didn't really want to go in. And I was like, oh, but come yeah, on! That that was. <laughs> <laughs> I know exactly how the Jets fans felt because I looked. I'm like, oh my god, we're gonna lose this guy, and we don't really get a chance to see what he can do for us. Right. But luckily, he came back, and um, we won that game. And it felt like he had so much poise, you know. It just like he was it wasn't shaking him. He wasn't he was not like sometimes when someone's back there, they just look like like rattled, you yeah. know? And and I didn't feel that and I'm like I, I'm jumping on board. I'm on the bandwagon. I like that, this now. That was refreshing to have a quarterback and again, love car past right. three three hundred five yards uh Sunday. So I think a change of scenery was good for him and for the team. And, you know, and I'll follow him from afar, but back to what we have under center now, he was not skittish in the pocket. And that no, was really no. refreshing to see. No, it, 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 I felt like, oh, this is going to be okay. And how about Jacoby Myers stepping up two touchdowns? And I don't I don't know if, if he's been cleared yet to play. I know he's in the, uh, the protocol. Yeah, There's the four things protocol. he has to get through, but mm-hmm. but he sure he sure gave his all. I didn't like the first <laughs> touchdown when he got a penalty afterwards because he was like in that guy's face. I mean, okay, I kind of liked it, but I didn't like it. You know, I'm like it, oh. it, the because it's different now because you get penalized for that, and I I think they should let him play and express themselves a little bit. That's where that's where that um, competition comes from. Right. I, I do this just to say competition, not fight the opponent. But I right. think it, it gets their juices flowing. Let, let me talk a little trash. Yeah. And same with basketball. If you look in a guy's direction after dunking on him, it's a technical foul. Let let him play. Let him yeah, have I, a little fun. I saw Michael Jordan play in Fresno against non-pros. And he, it was the heyday <laughs> of his thing. And he was talking trash to, like, local ex-college players. I'm like... Man, he just doesn't care. You know, it's that fire you're talking about, you know? Yeah, yeah. I was like, what is going I mean, on? Because if you, if you take temporary guys' excitement 
you know, it, it takes away from what he can do on the field. Let let him let him play a little bit. Give him a warning. Don't penalize him. You know, hey, you got your one. Now the next time we're going to flag you. Right. I, it, maybe that, but I it just it, I don't know. It, it it seems a little too picky that you know you're in the midst of a celebration and yeah, you want to rub it in the guy's face. <laughs> Come right. on. First game of the season, a new team, a rival. Come on, let me say something. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and and maybe that's why he got his head knocked off in the uh, toward the end of the game. I mean, okay, that was uh, a play that the, the DB was trying to stop him from getting that yard, but it did seem a little excessive. Oh, you know? it was it was excessive. I mean. I, you know, I thought I sat there and watched. You know, certainly praying that Jacoby was fine, because he, you know, he's staring to the right, he held on to the ball, mm-hmm. um, and it it reminded me of games back in the seventies and eighties where that was legal, right? And, yeah, <laughs> and you're like, great hit, and boy, have we changed our opinion on what, what's a good play and what's not? So right. yeah, years ago we would have been like, wow, that was a one hell of a hit. Well, and, and on our side, we took out the punter, almost killed him. You know, there was that was kind of a dumb mistake on our side. You know, yeah, yeah. The first game of the season again, dumb mistakes. You know, and you know, I, I've got some listed in my head. I I may not mention them, but there were some there were some mistakes. And I mean, the angle you take at the punter, you know, you can't dive towards him. Right. You got to dive right. across him. Right. Or his foot, anyway. And it's not going to end well. And you know what he's going to do, you know, so come on. But, you know, overall, though, I, I thought Josh Jacobs, yeah, he might have been missing a beat. But a little bit. There were a couple times where the Jack, Josh Jacobness was just crazy, you know. Yeah, I, he – there was a couple times that I think he, if he had just gotten one more step, he right. could have squir- squirted through for big gains. But that's all right. We won the game. And it doesn't matter what you went by; it just goes down as a W, and we'll take it. Right, and you know, right. even, even the defense. I was shocked because we started. What's his name? Uh, J- J- Jacoby, Jacob, not Jacoby. Uh, excuse me, uh, Jacorian Bennett. Yeah, number zero. I'm looking up. I'm like, who's this guy? But I, I did a little research on him, and, and in Raider fashion, the guy runs a four three forty. So. He has speed, and obviously, he played well during the preseason. I mean, I didn't pay much attention because he was in there toward the second half of the right, preseason right, game, right. and so I didn't do enough to learn who he was. And I was a little shocked because I thought it was going to be um, Hobbs out there, but Hobbs is playing the slot, and he held his own. I mean, he you know he got torched a couple times or, or used by the veteran receivers, but he's going to be okay. Hobbs had. I think twelve tackles and 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 Epps, um, he's like a, a general out there. He was he was kind of, you know, the stuff behind scenes. He's telling people where to go. Yeah, and, and I'm like, I like seeing that. So he's kind of one of our leaders out there now. Yeah, and and, and Trayvon Moore, I was going to sing his praises, but I, I watched that first touchdown that little Jordan Humphrey scored, where he ran across the back of the end zone, right across. Yeah, uh, Trayvon's face, and then he just left him. I mean, he followed, he trailed, but he just jogged. He didn't stay on his hip. Had he stayed on his hip, no touchdown. Right. But there was a huge gap, and he'll learn. Uh, he's out, you know, he didn't practice today or hasn't practiced this week because of his thumb. I don't know what's going to happen, but he was playing well minus that play, and I do think having Marcus Peters and Marcus Epps there, the, the veteran leadership in the defensive backfield is really going to help him. The Marx brothers, I think we're going to have to get to that. I think it's what we're going to have to call them, right? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's yeah. like, I, I always say, you know, between that first and second game, you'll really see a difference in teams. You really shouldn't make a judgment on a team until after the third game. You know, it takes yeah. it takes a little bit to, to kind of get your, your legs on you. Well, you look at, we talked about it last week. There were six preseason games when I was a kid. And again, that was four guys to get into shape. Now right. it, was, it was four up until last year, or was it the year before? Now there are only three. And so the evaluation process is taking place in these dual practices or these 
these combo practices with teams um, where you come in and they're, they're controlled scrimmages, but it's against someone else, not not your team. So, um, guys, you got the game speed is a little different. And again, you you mentioned um, our running back. You know, was he was he there? Josh Jacobs was he was he just a tad slow? Maybe, but that will be different this week. Because well, he, he's sure, he sure can there. turn nothing into something. He looks dead to right sometimes, and all of a sudden he just cords out. And, oh, but, he's he's not down yet. Yeah, the one thing I'm hoping though is that Buffalo does not bounce back from their performance from week one to week two. Oh, I was hoping for a Buffalo win just so they they would overlook us. Now they still <laughs> might overlook us, but but they're they're a little upset, you know. Well, they would have to be. I mean. That was theirs, but you know you have a quarterback, and that's that may be what saves us, um, or works in our favor. I shouldn't say saves us, but works in our favor. That their quarterback Allen is always looking for the big play. Right. He's throwing, he's throwing deep, and so there's an opportunity for interceptions. He's running, and he's not going down. There's an opportunity to knock him out of the game. Um, that guy turned it over four times in one game. And yeah. I think he has like what thirty six turnovers. He was pushing it. He was pushing it. I think you he has thirty six turnovers in his last nineteen games. Something, so, something so crazy. Josh Allen is from this the Central Valley. He he went to a school called Fireball. Then he went to okay. Kings River, and then he went to Wyoming. But his parents actually, I know they listen to the station. I know I know they're part of it, and. I love them, except when they're playing the Raiders. But but I, th- there's a part of my heart for Josh, too, you know. But there are three Joshes involved here. We got Josh Jacobs, and we got Josh Allen, and then we have Josh McDaniels. And so mm. we do have a two-to-one Josh advantage. Oh, let's, let's, <laughs> let's take it, man. Let's, we'll take any advantage we can get. How about McDaniel, um, our, cor- our coach? I mean, I, I kind of felt like the year before, I just felt like uh, I did not trust him. And he came out and surprised me with when we were ahead, he, he kept throwing. He kept doing things, um, making him guess. You know, it wasn't just like So we, we didn't we didn't play to lose, we played to win. Right. Yeah. Yeah, that's 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 the difference. I felt like, you know. Well, I, I it, it it's tough in this day and age with the big contracts. Everybody needs production now. You don't you don't have much runway. Years passed, you were given two, maybe three years to produce. Now you have to produce year one. Rookies can't even come in and really learn. They have to produce now. And you see it in every sport. You're not given an opportunity to mature. Uh, right. Too much money involved. So it, it's, I need it now. So Josh, I think he was under under a lot of pressure last year. And, you know, you start off okay, but th- there were so many wins that we gave. I mean, leads that we gave away in the second half. We were we lost six games where we had a double digit lead in the second half. That's, yeah, it's, it's ridiculous. So he was under a lot of pressure. So he had to come out with a new style. He brought <laughs> he brought everybody from New England. And they're all yeah. wearing Raider. They're all yeah. wearing Raider uniforms. I mean, even uh, the special teams coach. Um, yeah, I, I noticed that too. They're all they're all coming. A- a- Amadola from is that Amadola? Yeah, Amadola's. Yeah. yeah. So you're you're bringing the Patriots way to the Raiders, um, but or let's just call it the system and guys that know the system, and that's why Jacoby Myers fit right in and was hit the ground running. So I, I I do think that he's more comfortable. The players are more comfortable with his terminology and, and his playbook because they said it's a big one. Um, they know it now. It's right, like they should exactly. be more relaxed. They should be more reactive than more. They, it's just it should come naturally rather than thinking about what they need to do. Well, and I felt like, you know, that was a game we would have lost last year. You know, that was oh. that's something we wouldn't we there's no way we would have pulled that off. And I was waiting for for something to happen. I was like, "Oh, something's gonna go. Some wheel's gonna fall off here." And, and they just kept plugging away, plugging away. And, and Max Crosby, he has he has zero quit in him. It's it's just, oh, I saw some of those plays where he was like, "Oh, he's, he's blocked." No, he's not. He just throws 
throws it in like a like a rag doll sometimes. I'm like, you, you you look at him. I remember when Reggie White used to come off the end or off the tackle yeah, and uh, yeah, or or Howie how they would just manhandle or even a, a Khalil Mack. They would just push that giant tackle back. Max is not a big guy. He's I mean. He doesn't look physically imposing. He's not like the Khalil Mack whose biceps and triceps and deltoids, everything is just popping. Mack is this thin guy, but he must have unbelievable strength or leverage. And well, I think, I think, this, yeah, I, I think he, get, he gets him off balance and he sees it and then he uses it against him. Yeah. Because they're falling to the ground. Like he's and, got him tilted. And, and when you watch, they're holding yeah. So many plays. Oh my goodness. And all he has to do is throw his hands up and, and hopefully the ref sees it. And then yeah, it's, he's going to be, whether he gets the sack or not, he's going to get the hurry on the quarterback or he's going to get a penalty thrown against them uh, for holding him. And if we can get the other side with the rookie, uh, Wilson, Wilson, and yeah. hopefully maybe Chandler Jones. Yeah, I don't know what's uh, going on there. I, I it, To me, I... Who knows? But but Wilson, I felt like he was he was good, but he was very slow. He was, he, like he was thinking he, too much. Yeah, he was a whole second and a half. Uh, he Max he, was already he, way out in the backfield before he's even going. He would the snap would happen, and Wilson. It's almost on a few occasions he's like kind of just stood up. Do I stay home? And, What's happening? Yeah. And, and, it, and it kind of rushed timidly. Um, we need him to the point where he just puts his ears back and just goes. Exactly. And, and, exactly. And let whatever happens, happens. All right. So, so how do you? When we're going into Buffalo. What? What are our? What are our keys? What do we got to do to make this happen? To to win this game? Run the ball. I think so too. Run the, Run the ball, ball. Wear that defense out, and then do what? Don't uh, let Josh run on us. Don't <laughs> you know? Our Josh can well, run, well, not their Josh. Okay. Our linebackers, Devon. Diablo, Diablo, however you pronounce it, um, the guy we brought over from Pittsburgh. Yeah. I mean, these guys are flying around. The linebackers are agile this year, so try to run. And yeah. I, I th- think we're we're gonna we're gonna see that front seven really put a hurting on Buffalo. And and then when they try to pass, you know, that rush it's gonna you know, the pass is gonna go up quickly. Right, and then anything could happen. But I do think we'll keep them off balance with our offense because even last year we had a really potent offense, except all but that um, uh, New Orleans game. Yeah, the worst <laughs> game ever. <laughs> but we had we we put points up in the first half of almost all the games we participated in, hence the double digit leads in six games that we lost, and so we're able to score. So if we can come out, dominate on the offensive offensive side of the ball, it'll give us the opportunity to put pressure on from the defensive side of the ball. And hopefully Josh makes the same mistakes. Josh Allen makes the same mistakes that he made against, <laughs> <Not> <laughs> he made against the Jets. Not our Josh. <laughs> well, you, neither, you of know, our, neither of our Joshes. All, all those statistics about um, Jimmy G and he just wins. And now I'm starting to go, he really does. He just finds a way to win the game, you yeah. know? He's not, he's, throwing, not, he's not breaking records. Yeah, he's not he, throwing deep when he doesn't have to. He's short to medium range, and he's handing off, and he's scrambling to keep the, the keep the down alive or the downs alive. That's what you want from your quarterback. You don't need yeah. a home run every every play. How about a double? Yeah, exactly. A, a exactly. triple every now and then. But if if you're you know, you can have a guy hit four hundred if he's hitting singles all the time. He's going to help your team. Exactly. And this guy's a, he's a seventy percent. Pass. I mean, it was a, his passer rating for the game was what one hundred nine point seven? Yeah, it was like really that. good. I mean, I I'm just not disappointed. I'm not. At first, I was like, "Why are we trading?" But but I think you used to hit it on the head. I think Carr needed a change, and I think we needed a change. And I think, yeah. and and that's good. So and and again, in baseball, a singles hitter can help your team because he yeah. keeps you he keeps you in play, and that's what that's what James Richard Garoppolo does for us. Keep us in play. <laughs> it's so funny. When you say that, I think it's someone's like a serial killer or something. <laughs> but, I don't want I don't want to call him that other name because that's what they called him across the bay here. So right, right. So I, I want to call him something different. That's good. I like it. The or the G Man or whatever you want to call yeah. him. All right, James we, Richard Garoppolo. 
Yeah, well, all I know is this, <laughs> that we have more Joshes and we have better chance. Our Joshes are better than your Josh. I hope so. Week. I hope so, too. Mitch, thanks for being on the show again this week. The Perfect Rotation. Where is that basketball? It's a basketball made to help your kids. So the Perfect Rotation, just in the name. Check it out, perfectrotation.com. It's very awesome. Professor, thank you, Mitch. Love you. And I'll see you next week. And beat the Tatankas. All right? Go Raiders. Woo! We'll be back with more Inside the Patch on 1430 ESPN, your official home of the Las Vegas Raiders.